Welcome back to the channel. My name is Marcel. If you had half an hour to make a logo, how would you do with making that logo? And if your client gave you one extra half an hour to continue the logo and press harder, what would you take away or what would you add on to make the logo better? I'm here to give you guys a tutorial in Photoshop on different mockups and ideas or tips that I personally use to help push logos on clients. This video takes after my previous video of how to make a logo in 30 minutes. So where I left off was I designed a logo within a half an hour to an hour. It was more like half an hour, but the way editing went, it was definitely like seven minutes of a video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what you can add on to that logo if you have a little extra time to put into it. My main thing I'm going to be using today is Photoshop. So in Photoshop, I'm just going to open up a simple 1280 by 720 landscape image and we're just going to work on it from there. I have the bow here and just like before how I had the bow with the text underneath it, I'm going to switch that up a bit. I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, overlapping with letters. You're going to grab the type tool. You're just going to type in a letter. I'm going for bow. So I'm going to take B bring that down. I'm going to go bring it again. I'm, I'm holding alt and I'm dragging to copy. And then I have an O. Wow. Look at me. There we go. You're going to do another alt drag to copy and I'm doing W. What I want from here is I want B to overlap on O and then I want O to overlap on W. And how I do that is I take all of these. I shift click that way. I select them all right. Click it, go up to rasterize type. And this makes it a free form type so I can no longer type with it. It's more of just a stationary object, sort of like a bow. In here, I'm going to select B. You're going to hit control. You're going to click on this bracket. You're not going to click on the space part. You're just going to click on the bracket to select the entire B. You're going to subject, modify, expand. You're going to go to seven. It could be more. It could be less. It depends on how you have it. And it, actually, before I do that, I want to organize my letters a little better. So this is the lettering for bow. It's <laughs> bow designs, control, click on the B, go down to select, go down to modify. I don't know if you guys can see when I do that, but I'm hoping you can. Go to select, go down to modify, go over to expand, seven pixels, depending on how big your image is, click on O and click delete. And that will add an extra outer layer, outer um, stroke, if you if you will, it adds a little extra something onto the other letters. That way you can see the letters better. That's how I like to describe it, because the B has another thin outline of like a white stroke, even though it's not a stroke, it erased from the B or the O and it gave a little extra emphasis on the B. So with the O, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select it with the control click, go to select, go to modify, expand seven. We're going to go to the W, we're going to hit delete, and I just pick any of these tools that selects and deselect it. There's the bow. With this, I already had this kind of in mind of what I wanted to do, but I'm going to take it, I'm going to shift it. No, yeah, this doesn't need shift, that's Illustrator. I'm going to shift it down a little bit just because I feel like that would work best, and I'm just going to tilt it so it matches with the O. And just like that, that's the bow. This is a bow business, I guess. From here, we're going to select them all. We're going to merge them. If you're going to do extra stuff in this, I'd uh, opt with hitting alt, shift clicking or just clicking over so you can copy and then getting an extra copy of this in case you don't like whatever you made. Double clicking, going down to outer glow and drop shadow. There we go. This, this sort of looks like a business card. Now, here's the extra steps you guys can do. Uh, I'm going to open a mock. You can go to 3D mock generator, anything like that that does 3D mocks. What a mock is, is an outline of something. So say you want to put this on a billboard or you want to put this on a poster. Mocks, free 3D mocks will give you these designs and within them you can add your own effect or your own um, logo to them. That way they all match up. I'm just going to stick with this one since it's a standard, doesn't have a shadow on it. I'm going to put it right here, control T, hit that with an alt so it goes faster. Put it center. There we go. Take this out. Look at the other stuff they work on. Sounds good. I'm going to click out, hit save. I'm going to click out of the other one and hit save too. This doesn't fully save it onto your mock. All it does is save the image you want to put on the mock. And this is the final result for 
that company that does this. They do have different lighting effects, so you guys can go in there, mess around with it, do whatever to make the lighting look different, I guess. A smaller frame, this is the bow logo. Something fun you guys can do is you can get a whole bunch of mocks like this. You can take your original designs and you can just add your own flavor to them onto the mocks. Like, I made different brackets. I did about three by three, which is a pretty standard um, grid for mocks. And it just all circled around this hat, which I thought was a really cool image, so I put that in the center. Still not bad. I, I'd rate this like an 8 out of 10. And with that extra little drop shadow, it definitely looks like this is sewn in to the hat. That way it doesn't look like it's all printed on there like this, this other one. See how it looks like it's printed, but this one looks like it's been sewed in. Not bad. There will be a link for um, freemocks.com that I have down there in the description for you guys. So if you want to see these mocks and use these mocks, I'll, I'll have them down below. You know, I'd say this is for, if, you're, if your client gives you like an hour to make a logo and you give them two designs, you have two designs they're fighting over. All right, there's not that one design you sent them and they're like, I don't like it, it's trash. There's two designs that you're bringing to their attention and they're gonna pick one of them as the best design. They only gave you an hour. And if they don't like your one design in that hour, you're kind of out of luck, but if you give them two designs, you have a chance. This is the bow design. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. If you are new, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I'm Marcel, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial or video. Later.